Professor Liu is going to show you how to do twenty-four Excel, Module Four, Same Project One A. Luis Aguila is the manager of two branch two branch officers for the Capshaw Consultant Group in Houston, Texas. He has been tracking their sales revenue and expenses in an Excel worksheet. Which includes charts to help him visualize the data. He has asked you to help him formate the chart. First, we're going to do the number two. So underscore number. So change one to two. All right. Then we are going to go to January. To April revenue worksheet. That's the first wo second worksheet here. The January to April revenue stack column chart show the combined sales revenue the branch's office made in the first four months of 2024. Okay, so first we're going to format the chart title. So go to here. We're going to go to format the chart title and. First, we're going to uh, the chart title here. We're going to change the color. All right. So we are going to change the color right here. So right click it and say format chart title. <clears throat> Then、uh, we are going to change to、uh, blue accent uh, uh, four, six. So let's go. Uh, let's go right here. It's border, okay? Then, uh, sorry line, alright, and that will be this one, blue accent six. That's right. Alright. So after we finish that second one, we're going to go to the shadow. Alright. So the shadow here, we are going to change to. Uh, <clears throat> offset center. Oh, this offset center. So that's uh one. Let's do number two. Make the chart value easier to interpret. All right. So we want to doing this is we want to remove the primary major vertical. So we come back right here. We say. Let's go to the green line. Green line here. Then what we're going to do is remove, remove the primary, uh,、um, vertical. So we remove the primary vertical, and we want to primary horizontal. Okay. Now let's go to uh step three right now. Uh, we are going to add a. Primary horizontal, so come right here, and we're going to uh come here, and the uh we're going to the axis title right here. Then we're going to add a horizontal one. Okay, click here. Now we got a horizontal one here, and this title here is going to call month. So we're going to type month. Uh, hold on. All right. Once we type it, then we're going to、uh, see. So hold on. Let me back here. Then I'm going to select this, right click it, and I want to change this Tahoma, ah、uh, Tahoma in fourteen. All right, so it was changed to Tahoma fourteen right now. Now we done the sheets, so we file save. Now we're going to go to our second sheets, is category expense sheets. So we come to here, second sheets. The second sheet number one, we're going to change to style five. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're going to change to style five to make it more. Uh, compared to others, so now、uh, we're going to step five right now. 
Now we are going to change the char legend. So this is a char legend here. At the char legend here, we're going to uh, move to the right. Move to the right. So the legend to the right right now. All right. So next thing we're going to see is we're going to see the employee salary. Okay. We want to make it stand out. So you click one, two, two times two time make sure you click two time for these just a minute make sure you click two time for this all right so you are at the employee salary and you just going to include it uh, to seven percent so it stands out right now okay all right so we got this right now then we're going to save it Let's go to the next sheet. It's called uh, Profit Analysis Worksheet right now. Okay. So at this worksheet right here, we're going to do this. We're going to first, we're going to do this. Um, we're going to make this, this chart <coughs> title is a bar chart, right? We're going to move it this to uh, H2. To S21. Uh, uh, Alright, so first we move to H2 to uh, cell 21. That's what we're supposed to do in, in the step 7. Now, we're going to uh, go to the chart title here. Click on chart title here. And we're going to type it. Say January to April. Make sure you don't give actual spaces. All right. So we finished that right now. And next, we still on this uh, design right now, chart design. And we're going to change the chart color right here. Okay, to uh, hold on. All right, we're going to change to monochromatic uh, palette, palette 2. Okay, so that's what we're going to do it now. All right, so we still add, uh, we still have a chart design right now. So next, we're going to go to 10. We're going to go to uh, the, uh, we're going to, look for the April so the April is right here okay so in the April uh, we're going to change the fill color okay so go to the fill color right here and it's a solid fill okay and oh we wait a minute the color will be aqua accent 2 that's aqua accent 2 okay so we got that right now then we click this. And next, we're going to go to B13 um, all the way to F21. So B13 uh, to F31. 21 right here. All right. So here we are going to change to uh, currency. And no spaces. Uh, so zero no decimal places okay so that will be done for here now then next we're going to create a chart right now the chart we are going to create um, is uh, based on b25 to e26 uh, all right so here we are going to create a chart right here 
So we are going to uh insert a <coughs> sorry. We're going to insert a jar here. So we're going to say insert and char, and we want a char is a donut. So it's go to pie chart and donut. Okay. So the char is going to be at the the C. Uh, first we are going to uh, uh type at the name is uh January to April profit. So come here. So type. All right. Now the char is going to move, move till uh age twenty two. Age twenty two and to end thirty five. So we finish, and this file save it. So we have three sheets. The first one is January to April revenue. Second one is category expense. The third one is profit analysis. Now we done for these three sheets. I hope this help you.